That's the damaged rim case segment I need to replace. As you can see here, I did a really good job testing the durability of the rim case. So I've got a damage right there at the connection point. So which means I've got two damaged segments which I need to replace. So for those who ordered a spare wheel set along with the full ring case wheel set, you're already winning because the spare wheel set that comes with the full set is only $39. But if you order that separately, it'll cost you $79. And to order this one, it's not available on the website. So unfortunately, you can't use my discount code. What you need to do to order this, if you have to order it separately, is you have to email info at 1LSS.com and tell them you need a spare rim case segment for your induction or Uber turbine wheel. So if you want to see a cost benefit analysis I did for the rim case segment compared with similar products, you can refer to my full product review also available on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So be sure to check it out later. I've got a wheel set that was sent to me just a couple of days ago. This is how it arrived. So just one pack. So I'm assuming it will be the same as before. I guess it won't come with a, a pry tool. So make sure you save your pry tool from the full set. So let's just slice that open. Nothing different here. This is just a separate wheel set, um, but you do get a full protective film. Same thing, three sets of alcohol wipes, which we'll use and all the, all the segments for the 20 inch Tesla Model Y induction wheels. In my case, since I have two badly damaged segments, I just need to get two spare segments from this set and save the rest for later, which hopefully I won't have to use again. What we need to do first, of course, obviously we need to remove the segments and just basically push that in and then pop that off. That's the damage right there. And that's what the segment looks like. So it's not as bad um, considering it also ripped through the tire there but the damage on the wheel is not that bad <laughs> it's still bad but it's not that bad get rid of all these protective film so just rip it out i'm gonna have to refit this with a new protective film it's nice that it didn't leave any residue. Some of the film already came off when I took out the segment from before. So this is just prepping these, the wheels for the new segment. So for those film that's all the way to the back, just use a, a tweezer to peel them off. Obviously we need to clean this area and prep it. I think the, this one goes all the way to the back there. Got them good. So just careful not to scratch that wheel any further. There we go. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to show you what the uh, thing looks like. So I did actually had to put uh, glue here because obviously it's not, um, it's not a full segment. So I, I, I want to make sure that when I'm driving the, the, the car, I've actually been driving the car for about a week without these two segments. So I just put a glue here and a glue there so they, they won't sort of come off. Um, I might have to clean that off, but yeah. So it's because I don't have, I, di I didn't order the, the spare wheel set. So I had to wait a few days before it arrived. Um, so I've been driving with two missing segments, but obviously it depends on the damage. My damage is really bad. I had to take it off, but 
If it's just a scrape on the side, then it should be fine. In my case, it's an extreme case to take this off too. If you connected these films overlapping on that side, you might have a hard time removing it. So this one, these are just, um, again, that's another scratch right over there. This is just adhesive that I can uh, scrape off. Some of the adhesive in here as well. And I don't see any micro abrasions or micro scratches there because of the films protected it. So I'm gonna prep it. I'm gonna clean the wheel. I'm gonna clean the cars because it, I'm gonna clean the car because it's really filthy at the moment. So I'm gonna do a, a quick clean, clean this area, sort of um, smoothen that that area a bit. And then we'll we'll get started with the the installation of the spare segments. So I've now cleaned the entire car and the wheel with the damage, and I've taken off the segments and I think that's from previous damage I don't think that's related to the damage on the the segment that I just did but this is essentially the damage that's on this wheel so you can see it sort of kind of protected the the wheel from that terrible damage and judging by the way how the segment looks like so I think can safe to assume that it offered a good amount of protection to the wheel it's not as bad as the damage that sustained by the segment so I'm happy with that so now I've cleaned the wheel we're gonna clean this first with the alcohol wipes and we're gonna attach the, the two segments so I've just smoothed out the scratch here so now it's a feel it's there's no more high bumps just a, a gradual undulation so that's I'm happy with that I'm just gonna sort of smoothen that out so I've got this rotary tool again just, just there just, just do that before I um, before I polish I wipe this with the alcohol wipes so I thought I'd just um, smoothen that out so at least the it's already damaged <laughs> there it is so I'm happy with that I'm just gonna wipe this with the alcohol wipes I'll probably just use the one alcohol wipes because they're just two segments so I'm just gonna give it a good wipe and we'll get started with putting the films and then snapping on the segments so I'm just gonna open up one alcohol towel and give this a good wipe okay I'm gonna save that up for later and if you're impatient and you can't wait or if it's cold in your location might as well use this heat gun Attaching the protective film to repair a damaged segment is going to be slightly different compared to the initial installation. Where they are similar is when attaching the films on the spokes that are not adjacent to an existing rimcase segment on either side. In this video, it is where these arrows are pointing at right now. This is going to be a bit tricky because obviously I don't want to remove all the segments so I'm going to have to bias this on the right so there will be an overhang on this side. the second one so again this is another problem because that one sort of protruding this will be a bit tricky Ooh, yep that's that's gonna be a bit tricky I think this is probably the tricky bit this one's okay this bit because there's no overhang here but with this one well, I, I kind of don't want to pry that off let me see uh, let me just attach this as best as I can Okay, so this 
a spring weather so you can hear the birds from the outside so this this is going to be a problem um, because I'm gonna have to might have to cut that piece off so I won't be able to tuck it in there because obviously the segment is hugging the edge might have to think about this one might just need to cut that off that's probably what I what I need to do I'm gonna have to cut that off so just on a different camera angle here so again when you're installing this the segment on the left has an overhang uh, because of that inter interconnecting design so I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut this edge just so that it can I can fold it in and then I'm just gonna fold that in I'm just gonna use my uh, that pry tool there so um, so I've made a, a cut so that I, at least I can fold in the rest of that um, that protective film and that left me with this bit just dangling so just tucking the protective film all the way to the back um, and then this one um, I don't know whether that's okay so sort of lift that up a bit um, I don't want to lift it up too much um, so maybe there we go <laughs> um, I botched it up that's it um, at least it's in there okay cool so now I'm that's that's best I could do with that and now I'm just gonna give this a good wipe because I've been touching that protective film wipe it off there you go and then wait for that to dry or you can use a heat gun <laughs> So now let's go ahead and install the segment. So as before, you install this in a clockwise direction. So we're going to start uh, with the segment on the left. So they're both regular segments. So let's just peel this backing film from the VHB 3M adhesive there. And same thing same process that corner make sure it clamps in at the back I can feel it clamped in pull pull it until it clamps in to the other piece there And then press and hold on the rim case for a few seconds to make sure the 3M adhesive makes good contact with the protective film. And then the, the last segment, press and hold at the edge until it lifts up and then do that. So again, this is a tricky bit. This is where you need this pry tool, special pry tool. In my other video, I actually had an instruction how to use this properly, so make sure to watch that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to use that here. So again, same thing Angle swivel it and um, make sure it's clamped to the back um, And then get a good gripping angle There it is. So it's sort of um, Good and grippy support it at the bottom here This one goes all the way in up to that edge. Just push it in all the way and then uh, use your thumb on on the uh, on your left hand to sort of push push that in, and then just there you go, and then make sure to push the the new segment in 
so the adhesive will stick to the protective film nice and secure so just um, push and hold that for about a few seconds especially on the arc area this is to ins ensure that the adhesive uh, the 3m adhesive is seated correctly and there are no air bubbles there you go so there you go that's how you replace damaged ring case segments it wasn't as hard as the full installation, although there were a couple of surprises there when attaching the protective films, but that's nothing major. The important thing is the damages are hidden once again. I'm just so glad the rim case were installed on my wheels when this happened because it could have been worse if I didn't have any sort of protection for my wheels, you know what I'm saying? And that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or write me an email at autos.gizmos at gmail.com. And finally, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. This will help YouTube improve their algorithm, making this video become available to other like-minded individuals and at the same time, helping me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.